Hello and welcome to my speed awareness camera video. In this video we're going to talk about and see examples of speed cameras. And I don't support speeding in any way, shape or form. However, I would like to say that rather than speed cameras, why don't we spend the money on more police officers in cars and possibly limiters in cars. Uh, speed limiters that is. However, the manufacturers won't like that because they won't be able to sell their cars with suggested top speeds, would they? But I think putting speed limiters in vehicles and getting rid of speed cameras is the best option. Now, a lot of people get caught out because of different speed limits going from 30, 40, 50, 60, uh, back down to 30. Why don't we keep the set speed limit the same on a busy road? Obviously, you want a high speed limit on a motorway. You see, a lot of police officers believe that the new speed limit should be 80 miles an hour. Um, in fact, a lot of forums have suggested that. Even ex-coppers, current coppers, have said, really, 70 isn't really any good anymore. We need a new speed limit. Um, let's talk about the ACPO guidelines that police forces are supposed to follow. Where speed cameras that are properly situated with camera signs as well as having a speed limit um, tolerance of 10% plus 2 miles an hour. However, a lot of police forces are starting to ignore these guidelines. It's very possible that if you're speeding and doing 31 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone you could receive an unfortunate nasty letter in the post saying that you have been caught on such and such day. Um, right, so let's talk about when you should receive that letter. According to UK law, providing you're the registered keeper of your vehicle, you should receive uh, intended notice of prosecution within 14 days. Now, if it does arrive to you and there's nothing wrong with either you're purchasing a new vehicle or you haven't moved or anything like that uh, and your details are the same as they've always been and you receive it after 14 days you should be able to send that letter back and say it's, it's null and void, it's after 14 days, you should have got it to me a lot earlier. So that is something that you want to keep an eye out on if you do feel that you might have been flashed at some point with a speed camera um, that is a possible um, get out clause if it's after 14 days. Obviously keep in mind that if you're working for a company or it's a higher vehicle that rule will not apply. I believe it could be six months after so obviously it means worrying for six months basically. So speed cameras, are they there to generate income or are they there for safety? It's, ar it's arguable this where the police will say we've situated speed cameras where people have died um, but a lot of people believe this is a load of rubbish. Um, an example would be because speed cameras are put in some of the strangest places imaginable and not where they should or are needed. An example would be that you would put speed cameras outside schools. However, I've seen many occasions when there's a nearby school and the speed camera is situated on a main road. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You see, according to ACPO guidelines, um, speed cameras should be signposted uh, with the speed camera sign. However, again, the police force are starting to ignore these, especially when it comes to mobile camera vans, where they can basically put them anywhere. Um, you know, the guidelines do say they are supposed to put signs up just to, to tell motorists that there is a speed trapping force. However, many police forces are ignoring this guideline. So, speed camera vans, what do you think of them? Well, I don't like them um, because they don't follow the government guidelines for putting up signs to indicate there is a camera trap. Quite often, these mobile vans will be hidden behind hedges around a corner. By the time you've seen them, it's too late because basically their cameras can see a thousand yards down that road. So when you've seen it, it's too late unfortunately. So if you have been wandering a little bit over your speedo, um, unfortunately, you've been caught. One other thing that I have noticed that North Yorkshire uh, Police Force have started to do 
is use very sneaky tactics. Um, putting speed cameras in tractors, in horse boxes, out of view, out of mind, um, and it's just to get revenue really. You see, the way I see it is, why would you hide cameras in tractors and horse boxes? Why wouldn't you put it in plain view? And why are some uh, mobile camera vans being hidden in laybys or behind bushes and trees or signs? Um, there's only one explanation. It's not safety. Because if safety, people will see them and slow down. It's all about catching you out. Getting money from you. So, my advice is to obey the speed limits at all time. Yes, there are people like me that travel quite slowly and it might be annoying for you. However, I don't want to be caught by a speed camera and neither do you. So keep your speed down at all times if you can. Um, I appreciate you might be busy, you might be in a rush, you might have some plonker in the way who's being stupid, who doesn't know where they're going, indicating left and still going on. You know, that's just part of the nature of driving. But please obey the speed limits to avoid those fines. Because the last thing you want is a notice of intended prosecution coming through your letterbox giving you points on your license. And if you rely on your driving license to work, such as a bus driver, a conductor, say if you're in London, and if you need your driving license for work, you don't want points on your license because it can affect both your insurance of your own vehicle, obviously your employer might decide to get rid of you if you have more points than they allow in their policies, or if you get a ban completely and you lose the ability to drive. So please do be careful. Would it surprise you to know that those camera operators in those camera vans are normally not police officers. Normally they're um, a day shift basically and they basically work for the police force um, operating those cameras but they're not actually police officers. The only time you might have a police officer manning one of those vans is if they're doing some overtime. But think about it logically. If a police officer is on a salary of 26 to 32,000, would you want to pay that police officer that amount of money to man a camera van? Or would you want to employ someone on 15k to man that van? It's just numbers at the end of the day. Um, and that's who mans those camera vans. So, obviously, that's who they work for. Camera vans do seem to regularly do a routine. Um, if you're interested in finding out where speed camera vans are located, please check your local police force website. They should have a list of sites where those vehicles will be. However, they won't tell you when those vehicles will be there. Basically there'll be normally a massive list, they might have 10 vehicles and they might have 100 locations for, within the area and they basically just rotate um, different places, different times. But what you tend to find is the speed camera vans will be on busy roads um, in rush hour traffic. This is for the maximum capability of obtaining um, speeding fines. Obviously. The more people, the more fines, the more money you make. That's what it's all about. It's, it's just nothing more than a business of the government using uh, speed camera traps. So the moral of the story, guys, is don't speed unless you're prepared to pay a ticket and get a fine. So let's have a look at the different cameras that are out there. advising here, just doing a bit of a recording to illustrate the Gatso speed camera. Um, obviously there's some marks in the road to try and catch people out.
Hello everyone and welcome to the last piece of my video which is regarding the different speed cameras so I'm just going to run through briefly the different speed cameras that you probably see on the road um, this isn't a full list of all the speed cameras out there but it's a general rundown hope you found this helpful so let's start off with this one basically it's a Gatso speed camera uh, I've been on Britain's roads since the early 90s uh, rear facing fixed safety cameras photo the vehicle on the near side of the road capturing the vehicle along with its number plate uh, you see these all around the UK generally at the moment they do use film they're not digital at the moment so um, obviously you've got a 1 in 4 chance of being caught on one of these particular um, cameras because obviously they run out of film so let's move on to the next camera Right, the next one is called the Truvillio speed cameras. Um, basically, are uh, the second most popular fixed speed cameras used on Britain's road. Big difference between the Gatsa and the Truvillo safety camera is the fact that Truvillo is a forward facing camera, being forward facing means when triggered, uh, it takes a photo of the front of your vehicle, including the driver. So, unlike with the Gatsa, there is no dispute who was driving. Right, so let's move on to the next camera. So basically we have the handheld device that's used to measuring your speed. Basically, typically a police officer will be in a car and pull you over. And that's that particular one. Right, this one's called the Speed Curb. Speed cameras is a rear-facing fixed speed camera. Just like the Gatso, unlike Gatso, which uses radar, Speed Curb uses strips in the road's surface to trigger the camera when a vehicle passes too fast over them. Commonly sighted at the side of the road, speed curves can also be uh, sighted on central reservation and twin cameras fitted, like you can see here, uh, covering both directions simultaneously. Uh, so obviously this is one of the more modern cameras they're starting to bring in. Here we have the Trevilio Decam speed cameras. With a sleek and futuristic looking design, these new cameras also house the latest digital technology too. Being completely digital means there is no film to collect or run out. Instead of using a ADSL or 3G connection, the camera photos of the speeding motorists can be sent wirelessly to a backup office. So let's look at the next one. Obviously these are your standard specs cameras that you'll see on your motorway um, basically measuring your average speed between two points. Usage is on the increase on the UK's roads as unlike other fixed point speed cameras like Gatso spec systems like take an average speed of your vehicle over a set distance which might be as much as several miles. A common sight in roadworks these cameras are now being used at more and more locations. Right, what's the next one? Okay, here we have the mobile van. Make up a large number of speed trap sites across the UK. Through, of course, by their nature, they're not always in use. Favoured spots include on bridges, in laybys, and residential areas. You could expect to find them anywhere. However, when sighting a mobile speed camera, the police or local authorities should place signs one you of their use. Now that basically that information has come from speedcameruk.com. Um, what you might be unaware of is police forces do not have to signpost um, camera vans. Uh, I think current legislation means fixed cameras have to have a sign advising motorists. However, mobile camera vans uh, don't. So obviously, police forces are basically using that to their advantage um, so basically you know it's a trap to basically get you here you can see a horse box with a camera in it and obviously this is very stealthy and that's why a lot of people don't like it um, but what the thing is you won't know you've been caught until something arrives in the post so unfortunately a lot of people as well as the general public are not happy with this sort of tactic that police are using
<laughs> Obviously you can see um, a tractor here with a hidden camera. Um, a lot of people, as the, in terms of the general public, are not happy with this tactic because obviously it is secret, it is hidden, and you won't know you've been caught until you receive something in the post. Now here are some new cameras that they're starting to introduce called Hadex 3. Speed cameras is the latest speed camera to hit the UK's roads. Hadex 3, which is a sh short for Highway Agency Digital Enforcement Camera System, is being installed on sections of smart motorways in the UK. Uh, Red Flex Hadex 3 speed cameras have so far been installed on the M25 in Kent between Junction 5 and 6 and 7. More locations are planned on a number of other motorways with smart motorway sections in the UK including the M1, M3 and M6. Uh, obviously these are stealthy cameras as you can see they're not painted yellow um, in line with the ACPO guidelines. So obviously it seems to me that a lot of police forces are ignoring those guidelines now and it's very conceivable because I did hear about Scotland introducing speed limits of 31 miles an hour in a 30 limit where people would receive tickets. So guys, I know it's becoming a pain, um, but what's your speed? Um, the only thing I could suggest would be possibly to get a sat nav um, or maybe a dash cam to advise you what speed you're doing but it seems to me they're more it seems to me the police are more concerned with actually getting a speed fine to you than actually safety because what's safer you looking at the road ahead or looking at your speedometer you tell me guys anyway that's the end of this um, speed camera awareness video I hope this video did help you in some way and thank you.